Hello! It is time to do some more battlegrounds. Uh, still a little bit of ways from the gladiator circuit. Might be able to make some good progress tonight. Who knows? Hey, Gerald. It would be nice to get to Vibranium tonight. I'm already at about 100k points, so I'm doing good on the points so far this season. Last season was a little bit rough, just because I was moving partway through. So I ended up having to put up quite a lot at the end there. Wish you weren't suffering a diamond four. Ooh. It'll get easier. We're still in the, the very early time. Got a lot of people pushing to get up. I've had some pretty rough matches as well. That's a cool profile picture. Fits with the name too, that's neat. Okay, rank free domino, get rid of that. Probably get rid of the Lady Death Strike. Who else? Got a rank five bullseye. Oh, rank three maestro. Yeah, better ban the. Yeesh. All these rank threes. <laughs> I gotta gotta get some of my own up. Thanks for the radio today. Oh, no problem at all, man. I always enjoy hopping in there. The least I can do is bring some people over with me. Oh, let's take Nick. Profile picture was from Realm of Champions? Oh, okay. I thought it was just some weird, like, Pharaoh variant of Apocalypse, which maybe it is, but I definitely didn't remember that ever in MCOC. Okay, Bullseye. If we can get, like, a CGR, I'll be okay. Now Sunspot can take Bullseye, it's a little sketchy. This is a rank 5 unascended Bullseye. That's probably workable. I'm torn between Killmonger and Hulk like here. Love having a few profiles from there. There's been multiple times where I've matched with someone and been like, Oh that's a really cool profile picture, I wonder where that's from. People have told me it's the Rebel Champions one. So yeah, there's... Clearly quite a lot of good ones. Hey Matt, it's going pretty well. Just hopping into the battlegrounds. This is the first match, so yet to see how well it's gonna go. Okay, no better bullseye counters, but also there's not all that many sunspot champions that I could use them for. Um, what are we looking at defense-wise? Let's grab Absman and Korg. Oh, Omega Red. If I can get like a CGR, that would be great. I can use Sunspot. I'll Probably end up losing though. Okay, none of those are a bullseye counter, as far as I'm aware. Let's just go with Silt. Did this pull on stream yesterday, basically asking who's the better champ to use your 7 star 1 to 2 on? Dupe Sassy or Unawakened Serpent? I'd, I'd go Sasquatch, personally. I don't have a ton of experience with Serpent, but I have heard that it's a pretty nice Awakened ability. Um, and Sasquatch is, I mean, obviously the highest health pool in the game. Absolute defensive monster. But that's just me. Okay, now what do I want to do for Shuri? Silk? I guess Silk? 
Serpent Dupe gets his death immunity. That's where that comes from. Okay. Yeah, then I would definitely lean towards Sasquatch, because that has been what has messed me up against Serpent the most. Now, I have no idea how good he is offensively, but I know defensively that's probably been the hardest part for me. Now, unfortunately, Shuri's special attacks can't be evaded. Back. Oh, no. Wasn't trying to go for a special three there. Gonna try to snipe me? Go for it, Darth Maul. Maybe I'll see you up here next. They would feather mess up pretty badly to lose that. Very nice considering you got a Mystic 2 to 3 from your Necropolis opening. I would give some serious consideration to a dupe Sasquatch for a rank 3. They didn't even get that high of a score. Hey there, just a duck. Thanks for passing by. Yeah, maybe Abtim would have been better there. I'm glad I tried some, though. If I had gotten a big special two off, it might have gone better. You know, I don't really need Shuri for anything at this point. Might as well put my own on defense here. Good luck with the BGs, thank you. Try out Sunspot here. I've had some good Sunspot versus Bullseye fights before. If I can get a big special 2 off, I can get a pretty high score. We'll see. more power. Before you do a rank 3 sassy, you're gonna do a little race in the gladiator circle with an alliance mate. Whoever loses gets to choose the other person's rank 3. The gem has to be from Necro. That's... that's fun, but I would be way too scared that they'd make me rank up someone terrible. Chose Hawkeye considering that he likes using him and he has the skill 2-3. If he likes using him, that's worth it. But if I made an agreement like that and someone told me to rank three Hawkeye, I would I would be a little unhappy. I'm sitting on a, a mystic rank three gem myself. 
what I'm gonna do is wait until spring cleaning because in case I can get a Titan from there and then in case that's Kushala, I'd like to take her to rank three. But otherwise I've got Juggernaut right now who I'd be very happy with the rank three. He already crushes at rank two. It would be even crazier at rank three. Hey, got the win there. Also, OG Black Panther, Mantis, and Korg. Okay. Hawkeyes is only goop. I know Mantis is pretty good. Wouldn't be. My skill roster is pretty nice. I've got Duke Korg, Duke Killmonger, Duke the Moon Dragon. I don't need any more uh, skill champions, but I'd be happy to get them. Let's go with Abs, man. Warlock's going to be pretty quick. But probably not as fast as Hulk versus Future Ant-Man. He would have chose Mantis, but he wasn't going to be mad if he chose Hawkeye. Hey, that's the perfect situation, yeah. He's already done. Yeah. Ooh, a seven star Nexus. A new Vox, an Awakening Hulk. Considering you don't use Hulk on defense, you didn't need the Awakening, so you chose Vox. That's awesome. That's such a good Nexus. You really can't go wrong either way there. My Nexus was, um, well, there was one that I didn't care about at all, which was a Sig 40 Guillotine 2099. Not all that nice. Uh, and then it was a Sig 40 Titania or a Sig 40 Gladiator. So those two were, were objectively good pulls. They weren't the best for my specific situation, just because there were a lot of new champions I would have rather gotten than another 20 Sigs on Titania and Gladiator. But I mean, at the end of the day, Titania is pretty great and I'm happy to have the Sigs on her. Gladiator, Gerald, I ended up going with Titania. I spent a lot of time thinking about that, talking with people. I think I spent a lot of time looking at their SIG specifically and what it would give me, and eventually I came to the conclusion that Titania was probably a slight bit better, just since they were both awakened already. Skill roster is too stacked, more 7 stars in skill than any other class type with your skill rank ups in the 6 star. I'll be Gwenpool, oh I love Gwenpool. Yeah. I mean, I've got a pretty solid 7-star roster. I really can't complain. But my, my skill roster is definitely leagues above the rest of them. I, I could really use some more mutants. That's the one that I'm feeling at the moment. So yeah, this guy will probably be going up to rank 3, unless I can happen to grab Kushala soon. Yeah, for the most part, I'm quite happy with my, my roster. But I have kind of started to reach the point where most of the champions that I really want ranked up are already ranked up. Glad kind of needed more SIGs if you want to do Red Skull or Phantom Man a little quicker. That's very true. And that was one of the, the parts I was thinking about when we were looking at it. But I don't think that the SIG 40 is going to be enough to get Red Skull to his first bar of power while the Vigilance is still active. So it seemed like it wouldn't really impact a Red Skull fight that much. And I have more future Ant-Man counters, so I'm not super worried about him. But yeah, it, it was one that I, I couldn't have really gone wrong with either of them. Okay, who do I want my third band to be? I guess just bullseye. Oh, it's not gonna take it, is it? <sighs> Didn't even grab the second one. 
Oh wait, yeah, I did. That was wicked. Okay, I'm alright with Onslaught being banned too. Let's go Kate and Silk. Titania ain't bad. Not at all. Lion's Leader got a 7 star, rank 3, Sig 90 glad. Jeez. Sig 90, so they must have put quite a few Sig Stones into that. At least the 10. Pulled him three times of the Titan, gave him a few Sigs, yeah. Yeah, I double pulled him from the Titan, and then I just now pulled him again from that Nexus. Yeah, let's grab Storm. Could use some better defenders here. Hmm, none of these are great defenders. I guess we'll grab the dragon, which is a bit of a dual threat. Put some stat focus on your silk there, sir. You train man. Is all thing banned? No, it's not. Oh, they've got Sunspot. But I guess I don't really need Shuri. Eh, she can work for Kindred. Ally Leader is dying for a Storm X dupe? A dupe? She's one of the champs that got Matt Valiant before he for She's a good champion. I have her rank 2 and I like her a lot, but the dupe doesn't really do that much for her. Let's throw her down to start with. I've got her at Sig 40. this out? Yeah, that's gonna hurt way too much. Really didn't want him to throw that. Still pretty quick. She doesn't need to do, he just wants it for the silver stars. That's a fair point. Getting those silver stars is nice in and of itself. <laughs> Juggernaut is good. Put down Moon Dragon. Sure is an excellent Kindred counter. Yeah, Sunspot's gonna go through that super quick. Might have to wait out a special one miss, but that's not gonna add that much time. Power. 
Lost a little more health than I should have there at the end, but not horrible. Ah, not enough. Okay, they've got a place first. So, I mean, at least Photon, I'm going Kingpin. That'll be a pretty quick fight. Hercules, okay. And in that case, I'm gonna put Kingpin on defense. Is Photon a good Kingpin? as to whether or not Photon's a good kingpin count, would appear not. Hey, Brian. Thank you. That'll be up into diamond one. Need to get to GC this time? Need the sassy emote? I haven't even seen what this season's emote is. <laughs> what is he doing? That is a nice one. I wish you could have more emotes in your thing. Because I like the ones I have in there, but there's a few others that I'd like to use. threes. That's a nice sign. Uh, Jessica. They don't have a Valkyrie, so mine might be banned. Let's just hit Onslaught, Domino, maybe Mangog. Just go with that. Killmonger, Maestro, and Cord Bands. Okay. Make sure to grab some defenders. Let's go with that. Mm, they had a sunspot. Yeah, that's right there. Shouldn't grab Fury that soon. Oh, they're not gonna take him. Hey, Zero! I'm doing pretty well. What about you? So far, I'm two for two, which is better than usual. I should probably grab Storm. And then... Let's take Sunspot. 
Okay, perfect. Perfect for that Nick. Now I could use a, a better photon counter for sure. Get like a kingpin or something. You doing great? You ranked up a new auto ban rank three. Who is it? I'm so curious. I'll take Kate and Terax. I would love to grab Jugs, but I think Kate's gonna do a little better for Shuri. Rank three Domino? Oh yeah, I'm banning that every single time if I see it. I think I'm gonna save my uh, X Magicka Sig Stones until the day I get a duped Domino. This one's got to be future Ant-Man. Sig 60? Oh man, yeah, no chance are you gonna ever get to use that. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I have any Sig 60s. Although for Domino, you, did you put some of the uh, Sig stones from like Act 8 into there? I probably would have. Let's start with Nick. Okay. Just gotta be sure to keep an eye on the untouchable to make sure I can keep my tracking up. a lot of health. It's probably going to take a decent amount of time, but they definitely could finish at full health. We'll see. Round two, I'm placing first. Probably want to throw down Storm. There's a chance they use their Shavas there, which gets her out of the way for um, future Ant Man. Although they might prefer to save Chavez in case Holden comes out. Been getting really good at parrying all three hits of her special when, she, when she's in pure life form. Nice. That's something I need to practice some more. For a very long while, I just always banned her. But at this point, I need to start actually learning how to fight her properly. Okay, Storm on defense. Okay, so I did use Speech Ramp, man. That does potentially open up hopefully on defense, but they do have Chavez still.
five hit into a special two. And he's dead. Been destroying this metal with CGR. Need to make vids on it? Oh yeah. CGR is pretty crazy. Oh, that's gotta hurt to lose with 49k. Can never figure out how many special ones are enough when fighting Fairy Sunspot. I usually go with one. Um, most people have him ascended these days, but that usually sets you up pretty well to kill the first life with one special two, and then the second life with your second. Alternatively, you could probably do three special ones, and that would kill the first life, and then save up for a special two in the second life. Maybe you could get away with just two special twos, or uh, sorry, two special ones, then second life, then special two. That might work. It would probably be a little reliant on crits, though. If I had to guess. Ooh. Diamond one. Fifteen wins until Gladiator Circuit. I know this is a suicide meta in the circuit, too, because of fisticuffs. So if I make it there in time, I'll probably swap on over to that. But I have the second mastery deck unlocked there, so no cost involved. Oh, there's that rank three domino you were just talking about, Zero. It's not you, but someone's rank three domino. Another rank three lady death strike. That's the second one I've seen today. Another sneaky maestro. Don't see many Morbiuses these days. Okay, got Bullseye, got Photon. Hey, one, two. Why is YouTube in your messages? I don't know. It's one shot of band, band word? I don't know. Yeah, sorry if you were saying something I didn't. See it. Oh, that was my draft. Whoops. Well, we've got a thing drafted now. I don't have any metals to lose. Sunspot is sadly banned. I wonder if Juggernaut could take Bullseye. You're saying you usually go for three special ones and then one shot a second life? Okay, so that's just what I was talking about. So that does work? That's good to know. I guess... That's the same amount of power, isn't it? That's still uh, three bars of power in the first life, two bars in the second life. That's interesting. Do I go Hulkling Kate here? I think so. Don't know why YouTube is weird sometimes? Yeah, I wish I knew. Because I certainly don't have any, like, band words configured, and I don't have all that much, like, filtering on the messages. I think it just filters URLs. YouTube ain't your message, too, Gerald? Jeez, I'm sorry. Is there something I could do about that? I guess we'll just start with Killmonger. Can you not say Penny? Maybe if you said uh, something in like the possessive about her, I can see how that would get banned. <laughs> he blacklisted? Oh, I didn't know that. No, I don't have any words specifically blacklisted. 
Alright, I'm really curious to see how this fight goes. Can I just nuke him down before it matters? Oh, he's unblockable. Whoops. He said Penny with the with the apostrophe S. Yes. I bet that's what it is, Gerald, if I had to guess. But you're talking about her heel block? Okay. Oh, that's weird, Zero. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Nuking down Nick Fury with her heel block and Toad's poison? Yeah. Penny is a really cool counter to, to Nick. Jugs is not the way. <laughs> yeah, I learned that. Hate Bullseye so much you rank five in this sentence. If I had, if I had him, I probably would do the same. To clay looking. I don't know that I've ever thought of him as clay looking. I'll have to take a look next time. Alright, let's turn off the node. Point four, your defense got a big boost. Rank five ascended bullseye, rank two core, rank three shocker, and rank three domino. Wow. Yeah, if we get uh, rank down tickets for shocker, are you gonna use one? I mean, it's really only the maestro and storm matchups, right? That are that he's not quite as good on. And hey, Alberto, how's it going? And Curd Bros as well. Hey. Thanks for coming back. Not sure? You think about it? Yeah, I I think one of two things is gonna happen. We'll, we'll either get ranked down tickets. I mean, I don't have a shock ranked up, so I won't get anything. But I think they'll either send out ranked down tickets or they might buff his abilities so that he works the same way as before. And I think that's a possibility just because he went through 
like the whole rebalancing program behaving that way. So clearly they didn't think he was broken that way. Now as to whether or not they still feel that way, who knows. I guess I'll ban Dust. It's not that bad, but you never know. Might use it on Shuri instead. I have a rank 3 Shuri, and I love her very much. But she's definitely not the strongest Battlegrounds champion out there. I don't regret it for a second, but... I would very much understand why some people would not want to rank 3 her. It was confirmed on the forums as ranked out tickets? Oh, okay. I must have missed that. I wasn't paying too much attention because I don't have a shocker. What do we do here? Lean towards Kingpin and Gladiator. Shocker's one of your best onslaught counters, you might just keep him. Yeah, that in itself makes it worthwhile, huh? Okay. I can use Kate for Maestro. Let's get a little funky here. Moon Storm, I need some defenders. Stronger knife can also take Maestro. What would that free up Kate for? But I could use Kate for Pig, potentially. Yeah, that's probably what I want to do. Because I want to save Kingpin for Photon. Oh, and they got Gladiator. Of course they got Gladiator. I guess I go with her anyway. Bullseye counter, did I? I guess I have abs, man. He's bleeding you. I wonder if Kate would be alright with her evade counter. I don't think I'm winning this regardless. Jeff, how's it going? I'd love to use CGR for Onslaught. I did not know that he worked all that well for Onslaught. Just figure the rotation out. What do you have to do? Is it like a medium ender, light ender, relic into special two, if I had to guess, with the four relic on? Yeah, definitely lost that one. Now 
this is a bit of an issue. Don't have much in the way of defense. Hey, one. How are you doing this fine Monday evening? Photon? Okay. What are we going with Gladiator? <laughs> He's got a little bit of stuff. Too late to start a Prowler grind? Probably not. You might actually grind a little bit harder. I mean, you really only missed out on one round, right? been nuking Onslaught with Hulkling. That's my preferred counter as well. So I've been late on Bullseye and did 130 million. Yeah, it's you can definitely get to over 100 million starting six hours late. Or more than that. Whatever it is. Oof. At least these losses are coming um, when I'm at zero medals. Watched the re-release of Spider-Man in theaters. I didn't know that was a thing. Was it as good as the last time you saw it? Uh, oh, this is for uh, CGR versus Onslaught. The medium ender, light ender, uh, then either heavy or relic. Special two after three heavies, then five at combo. It makes sense, yeah. Hey, they've got the same rank threes that I do. Except their shop is just duped. Van Sassy, maybe Chief and Havoc. Yeah, let's go with that. Do a lot of blocking and punishing his heavies when fighting. Yeah, you kind of have to, huh? Okay, we got Torch Chavez. Wow, they banned their own Chavez. That's a surprise. Is Gladiator shine at BGs this meta at all? Not really. I keep him in there. He, he, is, he is rank two, so he's got the power, but he's not been doing anything exceptionally well for me so far. Let's grab Valkyrie. I want to try using him a little bit more because I'm still not super familiar with him, so I just need a little bit more practice, but he hasn't been outstanding so far. Let's go Maestro Titania. Do I have Onslaught in my deck? Uh, no, I don't have Onslaught. Actually, I just pulled Onslaught from the Featured Crystal a couple days ago, but I didn't have a 6 or a 7 star Onslaught until recently. You're born a bit after it released, so it was a must to watch it. Oh, I didn't know that. I was born a bit before it released. But I definitely wasn't watching it on release day. They're just gonna nuke this Killmonger. I guess I take it anyway. You do a heavy punish with your heavy, light ender, medium, and special two. Intercept with the light and the relic. 
five and a special two. Yeah, that makes sense as well. If you can, if you can leverage the relic, it makes things a lot easier. Is what I've found lately. Let's start with Nick. Bit of a slowdown option. Once you know CGRs, you don't really need to rely or wait for Slayer to upload his vid for a guide for how to do a specific champ. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever watched a, spe a champ specific video for him. Uh, yeah, this should be safe. It usually boils down to one of a couple different rotations regardless. Why did I ban Unduped Havoc if I don't have an Onslaught? It's not really much of a threat. That's true. I mean, I just had a lot of the champions that they had. Uh, the only memorable ones I remember at the top, there was a White Tiger and a Werewolf who I'm not super worried about. heavy at the start of the fight with CGR, you do the opposite and heavy cancel special too. That was kind of the original. Uh, it seemed like people were always doing that, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And then it switched to be most people were doing it at the start. And now that the relic is out, you don't really need to heavy at all. I don't invert my combo with Valk. Um, I didn't in that case, just because I didn't want to parry. I didn't want to take a load of block damage from all the pierce. I don't always, I, I usually do. But against Hulkling, I, I try to avoid pairing when I can. Maybe that's not the best idea. But I mean, a 55 second fight with nearly full health is still pretty good. Just invert when you hit him with a normal combo. Did I do that at all that, that fight though? I feel like I was mostly hitting his block that fight. That's a good point. I like the special too. Yeah, I probably should have. In that fight, I just... Did I have the opportunity for it though? I'm trying to remember. I feel like I would, didn't really actually hit him all except for maybe once. go here. Oh, the CGR? Well, that makes things quite a bit easier for me. Let's do this. You can also whiff four lights in the air and it inverts the combo. I did not know that. That sounds incredibly sketchy though. <laughs> Doesn't, can't they just punish that? Kill. 
so close. I could have just gotten one more crit. They can, but you can manipulate the AI into blocking first. Do you find that that's worth it? It seems like that's a lot of time spent not doing much damage for a little bit of payoff in the special, too. That's interesting, though. Situational? Oh, yeah. For sure. Much of this game is. But I'll, I'll definitely keep that in mind next time I'm in a Valve fight. The new AI for hit whiff is unreliable. Going back to that gladiator talk earlier, that's my biggest thing with him is the intimidate is not enough for me to feel confident or really beating into their block to build up my charges. If it was a tiny bit more reliable, I think I would be using gladiator a lot more, but as it stands right now, I've gotten hit so many times when I'm just trying to take advantage of my intimidate. And some of that is practice, right? When you get more familiar with how the AI will behave in certain situations, you can anticipate it better. But it makes it quite a bit more challenging. Rank three unduped domino. Not as worried about unduped, but still rank three is a rank three. Rank 3 undo jugs. Might be joining that club soon. And what do we have here? Maybe Onslaught, maybe Spider Ham, maybe that's sassy. Let's just go with Onslaught. It's not practice. Intimidate is the biggest scam in MCOC. I mean, there is an element of practice with it. because you can predict the AI to a certain extent. It's changed many times in the past and we always get used to it eventually, but I wish it was a bit more consistent. <laughs> but I completely agree. Intimidate is a frustrating thing to rely on. I really only ever do with Gladiator. I don't find myself using Hulkling or Valkyries all that often. Partially because of that. Okay. Guess I'll take Abs, man. really wish the defender is at least guaranteed to hold the special if they're intimidated. They could dash it sometimes. If they don't throw a special, it'd be infinitely better. That is true, and you saying that did remind me that I also used Intimidate with a Titania on her special three. And that is frustratingly unpredictable as to whether or not they'll uh, just throw a special into you. Waste half your damage. That absolutely blows. That was a 
lot of damage into the block. I didn't want to dex because I want full damage on this. Hey Wolf! Dropping in, stopping in to drop a like and show some support. Been a long day, so not sticking around, but can't wait to see you at the meetup. Me too, man. I am really looking forward to that. Appreciate you stopping by for however long you can. And yeah, I cannot wait for the meetup. I have been... <laughs> it's funny. The, the first meetup happened the year I went to college. And I grew up in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, but I went to college on the East Coast. So it was like, as soon as I left the PNW, there started being meetups close to home. So it was really unfortunate that I missed them. And then of course, COVID happened, so there weren't any for a while. Um, but now they're back, so I can finally attend one. Oh, that's my camera all blurry. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you as well, my friend. Speaking of uh, Intimidate being necessary for damage, see how it goes here. That is just wonderful. Excited too? Moved out here to hopefully do things like this meetup and the Battlegrounds Brawl. Honorable now to ask you to be a part of it. Yeah, the the Vancouver meetup. Were you at Vancouver last year? I'm trying to remember. I didn't get a chance to see to talk with everyone I wanted to at Vancouver. It was a bit too short for that, but I had a great time there. The little intimidate prayer you say with each Titania fight? Oh, that's the truth. <laughs> As that special animation is playing, just like, please let me get some good damage off of this. I've been there way too many times. Been using Titania a ton this afternoon. Uh, she's the one I'm using for raids. Although now my pod is all done. I'm not gonna have to do anything until we're all up at Ultron. I got triple of the 25% uh, tier six, as usual. I don't think I have ever gotten anything other than that, which just feels so bad these days. Rank three Venom, oh, skating down there at the bottom. Five rank threes, jeez. This is an intimidating uh, roster. Moved here just before your living arrangements fell apart. Ended up homeless when you got here. I, I I've heard about some of the issues going on, Wolf, and I'm uh, I'll, I'll be happy to help out in just a little bit. Um, just have to wait for 
uh, my current paycheck to clear before everything. Um, couldn't get to the brawl, but planning for this year. I hope to see you there as well, man. Try snapping me in Vibranium 3. Go for it. I don't know that I'll be getting there tonight. But we'll try. What do we do here? Let's go Titania and Maestro. to get their Chavez and Suri as well. Need defenders. I guess I'll take Valkyrie. Maybe I'll go with Gladiator again. I guess, yeah, I need Valkyrie for a thing. I was planning on using her for Shuri, but Thing is probably the safer option. Jeez, this is a... Uh, this is the lineup they've got here. I think I need CGR. I feel great about that photon. Alright, I think I give them Maestro. Yeah, if they Chavez this, they're gonna be in a little bit worse of a position for Hulkling. They can still use their own Hulkling there. But that's... it's a bit better. my judgments. Oh no. Didn't mean to dex there either. Yeah, this one's gonna be a loss. It's just one of those fights where you make one mistake and it's all over. I should stop trying to dex that first hit. Seems like it does not work out enough. Can you go from relic to relic? Yes, you can. Well, I, I sure hope I do get the chance to see you in October as well. The DTX raid. <laughs> you stream the DTX? I didn't realize. Guess we just give him Hulkling here. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a loss. <laughs> Guess I use Titania? Can Titania even take Photon? DTX, I just checked and I don't see a stream on there. This is a bummer, dude. I want to see you stream, man. Oops. I 
I might be able to get enough damage off of a special three cycle. I'm just going to good life. I can build up another haymaker pretty quickly, huh? Oh, ouch. Did she have any crits up, or is that just the normal damage? Oh yeah, that's what normal damage. Well, you win some, you lose some. Just get hit while you have Haymaker. <laughs> yeah, that would have been the better thing to do. Oh, no shot I was going to beat that. Yeah. GG. I did have a medal to lose that time, unfortunately. How are my Elder's Marks doing? Still got 4k. But I'm only gonna get a little bit more. Oh yeah, none from here, just from the Alliance event. Which I don't think I can check that. Notice it's getting harder and harder every season to climb the gladiator circuit. I'm trying to think if I've had increased difficulty getting there. It always takes me a little while. Part of it's definitely just because I'm trying at the beginning. Of course it gets easier at the end, but yeah. Let's get that domino. Luck on the push in the rest of the stream. Don't talk to me before the meetup. We'll see you there. Thanks again for the thoughts and any help. Absolutely, Wolf. I am looking forward to seeing there for sure. And I hope everything goes well for you. What do I do here? I'm leaning towards Valkyrie and Juggernaut. It's not about wins and losses per se, it's more the margins by which you win and lose. Oh, okay. It's always around 100 to 200 points, incredibly close. Even the perfect fights aren't enough sometimes. Okay. I wonder how much of that is uh, nuke metas too, because the last few seasons have been pretty much just a nuke fest in the victory track. And that's, I mean, that's part of the reason why I don't really like the nuke metas all that much. What do I do? I'm not loving this draft so far. I guess Doom? Maybe defensive Doom would work? I'm hopeful that next season we get in a bit more of a restrictive meta again. I'm sure it's a balancing act, because there's a lot of people that do prefer the nuke metas, but they just get a lot more stale for me. Okay, let's start off with Nick. I think I'm safe to use Valkyrie here. Bring back Harbor meta? Oh, absolutely. I love that meta. Bring back metas that make me dig deep into my roster.
because here's a fight where I'm definitely messing around with my combo a little bit more. Come on. Quite as fast as it sometimes is, but we'll see. Okay, 47k. Not an enormous amount. Was well, enough. I think it'll get closer to as more players become valiant with 8.4. X Fit Rewards gonna get closer, should be fun. Yeah, I mean, already I'm noticing so many more rank threes. Which, it's nice to see people progressing their rosters, but it's also very scary. Hey, Captain Judah. How's it going? Don't think we actually want that? Forgetting we didn't have Bullseye, Onslaught, Photon, Serpent. That is true. They really have been going insane with the defenders for a while. See, now I'm in trouble. I guess I put down Doom. They're just gonna shred with Photon. Right? Now they're thinking about it. Maybe they're not gonna shred with Photon. Or they will. I think I use Titania here. Just to give me some semblance of chance in round three. Yeah, they said a, a month or so ago that they're toning down the defenders for a while, and I really hope that's true. Because I appreciate getting challenging defenders every once in a while. But it is important for the game as a whole, but it was like one a month for so long. Man, you dex that once and he's fully blockable. That's gonna hurt. Can I hate maker? Can, but I don't know if I want to since I'm so close to special three. Oh no. I should have ended my combo there, that was dumb. I don't know, I'm just gonna make it. Just barely. special. Not a whole lot I could do there. <laughs> I mean, I, I definitely could have done better. But... Serpent's the only threat on that list? In an armor burn meta? Maybe. I guess we go with Kate. <laughs> Imagine dealing with Bullseye and all nuking yourself with Power Bird in the process. Yeah, I'm, I mean, wait. She doesn't turn off Juggernaut, right? I don't think she has any non-damaging debuffs. She has the ignition buffs. I guess if she gets a, uh, a soul barb on me, it's gonna hurt. Come on. I'm just gonna go for it, I need to. Clean. No shot, you're beating that. 
So I rank two, seven star Kindred or Destroyer, both unawakened. I would probably say the Destroyer. Um, just because Kindred really does rely on a high sig, and that's not going to happen for quite a while. Alberta said the same thing, yeah. I don't know if Destroyer super well, but I do know that Kindred, at least defensively, kind of needs a high sig. The power of Juggernaut? I know. If and when that guy gets to rank 3, it's going to be a thing of beauty. Alright, what's my score looking like? Solo, 150? Okay, perfect. Can you whole thing Kushala? I don't know. I would imagine Mystic Dispersion would hurt you pretty bad, right? Although, does she have a... Okay, she does. I was just about to ask, does she have a thing where she doesn't get Mystic Dispersion? But you will beat me to it. If she can... Does she put a soul barb on you if you don't get hit? I don't know her abilities super well. Because, I mean, if you get a soul barb on, that would definitely hurt. But if you can just dex out of it and not have to deal with it, then that would be fine. Just fully dex worth for specials, so no incinerate your soul barb? Okay. Actually, she does, but you can control it. She gets it when you hit her. Okay. I did notice her getting that extra power, and I figured it was a Mystic Dispersion replacement sort of deal. You could definitely CGR her. I don't know that that would have been quicker than Juggernaut, though. At least in that last match. That was like a 52k score. Maybe it would have. This seems like a perfect opportunity to grab Moon Dragon, that Scorpion out. She'll still get the power, but instead of it proccing when they expire, it'll proc when the buff is on you. Okay. In some ways, that seems a lot more manageable. Is she gonna work here? I think she might. We'll try. Because when. When buffs fall off is generally a lot harder to control than when they when they prop on you. Just through crafting for tight situations, gotcha. Start off with Maestro. Is your opponent going for Ronin cheese? Yeah, I was wondering about that. I don't maybe a whole thing? Nah, he doesn't have enough buffs, does he? This one's gonna be rough. I guess I just throw a sunspot at it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe silk. No, silk stun would have failed. Yeah, CGR could probably beat me here. If I can get the pair, hey. Okay. Oh no. That was a lot of damage. Forgot to turn off the node, that's fine. before uh, 
getting smacked by all these special ones certainly isn't helping. Yeesh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think I will not be doing this matchup again. I don't know that I had a, much of a better option though. That's too far. Couldn't get the spacing right. <laughs> 39k. No shot. Did happen to you the other day? I'd used Meister or Hulkling for uh, Kushala. Their CGR there, which is an interesting decision. Hope you don't bother asking this question. Do I only mod alley mates or do I rarely give the wrench? Honestly, I don't really think about it that much. I don't have that active of a chat that really matters. There are a couple mods in here. Um, it's more just the couple times that the chat has been active enough that I can't see everything. I uh, stupid heavy reach. I've modded someone, just whoever is here that's been here for quite a while. Bear's eating up all my potential healing though. Oof, lost a lot of health. I think there might only be two people that even are modded in this stream. Like I said, I mean, it's not, um, it's not usually so active that I don't see something pretty quickly after it gets posted. It's even rarer that it's something that I would need to delete or whatever. That's only happened, I think, twice, which is nice. Destroyer it is. I hope you enjoy Destroyer. One of my Alliance mates pulled three seven star destroyers out of a single early access bundle, which is just so far beyond insane, it's not even funny. Dauntless debuff removes low power healing. Yeah, but I had a actual regen buffs up also from Hulkling because I got smacked. But uh, I had enough debuffs on that it wasn't healing very much. Just type a wrench every time you drop a comment in chat. I just gotta get to psionic whatever, and then she will be evading. Psionic transcendence, that's it. Oh no! Well, that's a killer at least. <laughs> 
And the other thing is, like, there's not really even any other colors of names that can be in the chat, because the the green names come from, like, memberships and stuff, right? So that's not something that's available to me yet. That stupid damage? Oh, I love Moondragon. Moondragon crushes it. I was hoping I'd get to use her versus that Scorpion. Because she'll it would have been even nuttier. Yeah, Ronan was an interesting choice there. <laughs> I don't know why they drafted Ronan. Did I have anyone that... <laughs> yeah. I think Hulkling and Maestro have some buffs, but not nearly enough to get a stun lock going. You need like 10. Wow, I just looked back at the damage. That was pretty good. <laughs> Get another queued up. I want to check my... Alliance Battleground score real quick, so apologies. Oh, well, never mind. Got a match. Come on, show up. There it is. Nope. Mm. Moondragon was so slept on at lunch. Nice to see her going nuts. She's a really fun champion. And I inevitably end up taking a ton of damage every time I use her, but I keep doing it just because she's so fun. Rank four bullseye, not all that scared about. Unawakened kindred, not that bad. Send it on slightly. This roster, I've definitely got a pretty good advantage going in here. Ronin Cheese Storm X. She has like three to four prowess, not enough for the cheese. Yeah, you need like 10 for it to be consistent. Although I'm sure you could get by a Battlegrounds fight with like eight or nine. Oh, Spider Ham, that's another good Moon Dragon match. Two more wins than you can snipe. If I make it there in two wins, I'll give you one chance to snipe, but then I'll have to call the night probably. How's Moon Dragon for Bullseye? That's an excellent question. I don't know that I've tried it. Um, he does counter miss, so you won't be able to use the special one to build up, which I often do. But, yeah, I mean, she's got the evade counter when Psionic Transcendence is active. Hmm, I might need to try that at some point. Um, yeah, I could use that storm. Well, I was planning on using Shuri for Domino, but now I kind of need her for Red Skull. So I guess I'll try Hulkbuster versus Domino. Okay, let's just go with Nick for the slowdown. She also reduces the bleed by 50%. I forgot that she targeted the bleed. Did she? I didn't even realize that. I know she targeted poison and power sting, but I did not remember that it hit bleed as well. Oh yeah. 
always 30% and then Oops. So yeah, she reduces by 80% when she's in Psionic Transcendence. I forgot about that. I forgot that she uh, targeted Degen with that. Which, I mean, that's kind of useful. I usually think of her more as a power sting and poison counter. This is the kind of margins you were talking about? Yeah, it it's definitely tight. <laughs> there are not nearly as many significant win margins. Okay, let's use Titania here. Actually, no, wait, I can use Hulkbuster. I was, I was saving him for Domino, but Domino's gone. There goes the pig. Slip your opponent at 20. <laughs> yeah. because of that. But I think I could probably still win round three. Ooh, that'd be a little tricky. Juggernaut's only rank four. Hulkbuster's armor reduces Kitty's ability accuracy. Okay. Parry twice and she got no prowess. Okay. Yeah, I like... Uh, I've barely ever played Hulkbuster. I keep trying to get into him, but I just can't. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's enough anyway. You're yelling through the striker. <laughs> that would have been the smart play, wouldn't it? If I win this one, I'll do one more match in Vibranium 3, so Zero can try to snipe. If not, this is going to be the last one. Let's see, is that a rank 3 Atuma? Yes, it is. Ooh, they got Prowler also. 
Rank 3 Shuri, I have that as well. Rank 4 Jessica and Bullseye, probably won't ban them. What's that Domino? And Photon. I'm not worried about Prowler on defense. And from what I understand, his best use is an onslaught counter, and I don't even have an onslaught. So I don't really care if he keeps Prowler. Okay, we got Phantom Man, Maestro, and Shot Looks Bands. I think I gotta go Abs Man to board here. There's my Kindred counter already. Maybe a defensive sport game? Ah, uh, got CGR for Killmonger. I assume Kushala works pretty well for Hulk. No, well, Hulk doesn't work, but uh, I think that works too. Yeah, that's exactly why I was going to switch it to Hulkling at the end there. Now let's start with Korg. I think I can cape this alright. No. Oh, molecular armor makes him immune to cold snap. But it also makes him immune to bleed, so it's just as bad to go for caltrops. it every single time. Oh, can you proc armor up on block? Don't recall. Okay, I got some good damage off of it. Why did I get heavy there? Got here just in time for a Zode. <laughs> you you blessed me with that there, and I mean he still got Venom for Killmonger. But Venom's gonna be a little worse than CGR. Really playing some scrubs. <laughs> I got decent cold snap damage. Yeah, I mean, I was able to keep it up for a decent chunk of the fight. If I hadn't remembered <laughs> that he was immune to cold snap, then it would have been a much longer fight. Oh, absolutely. Okay. 
Well. Did they just rage quit? <laughs> Are they not even playing? Wait, what did they get on that? They might just be AFKing for the points. In which case, that's a slightly less good zone. Okay, yeah, they're not even playing. Opponent's mom barged into the room? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But, like, they did some damage in that fight, right? I wasn't paying that much attention to it. Guess you get the snipe, but you can certainly try. I'm only gonna be able to give you one shot though. Oh wow. I guess they just rage quit because even if they were just AFKing, then it would have gone through the match results. So they must have quit out. When so many fights are so close and AFK is refreshing, yeah. <laughs> Certainly is uh, an easier win than some of the others. Oh man, I'm one unit off of 16k. I just noticed that. All right, zero. I'm gonna count it down from 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, go. We'll see. It's taking a little while. Oh, no luck. Well, if you look at the Alliance though, the alliance is zero. This isn't you, is it, Zero? I don't think I actually know what your in-game account is. You did try it? Okay. <laughs> Rank three Hulk. Rank three Maestro. Is the sneaky one? That toad is a little worrisome, actually. I think I'll just go with that. That's not you? Okay. I thought I thought your name was the same. Your in-game account is the same as your YouTube, right? I thought that was the case, but then I realized I was like, I don't actually know. Uh what a rank two domino? Sure he's banned. Who's my next best domino account? Hulk busting? Definitely need abs, man. And the real question is, do I want to use abs man for Terex or Hulk? Probably whichever one comes out, if either of them. Maybe Titanium. Abs man and Magma for Domino? With, I mean, I don't know that I can afford to use him for Domino at this point. I kind of need him for both Terex and Hulk. Chauvin's band also, he's like my next option. I 
know Phantom Man can do the domino fight, but it's a little sketchy, right? I might try Hulkbuster versus Domino. Yeah, Abspam is... It, it's like a 20 second Terax fight. It's so fun. Jeez. Right now my best bullseye counter is Storm. This one might be the, uh, the sign that it's time to call it quits. <laughs> I'm leaning towards my own Terax here. Let's go ahead. I think if they place Bullseye, we just throw. Yeah. Who do I not need? Toad can turn off Nick Fury. Let's put down Kingpin. Okay. I would be super happy if they used Toad here. That's great. I think I, I might have been able to win if I used Storm. But I don't feel like that was nearly a likely enough outcome. Let's use the Haymaker into a special... Here. It's just gonna evade that. Won't be able to do that this time. on defense, Titania, the Terrier, whole thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a little too late for that. That might have been smart. Probably it would have been smart. Didn't think about it. I think I put down Terrax. So, they're definitely putting down Hulkling next time. But I think I have to use Absinthe. After Bullseye Second Special One, always forget to wait out the Killer Instinct. It's such an annoyingly long time that you have to wait. I'm assuming they're placing Hulkling. I 
I wonder if it's best to put down Storm and then try to Nick Fury whole point. I don't know how quick Iron Man's gonna be able to do that fight. <laughs> okay, uh, never mind. Then I want to put down Nick on defense. Hulkling's still going to be pretty quick for him, but I think I stand a better chance. And then we try out this Hulkbuster versus Domino fight. No idea how it's gonna go. Time to the heavy. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely a winnable fight. I just did not. <laughs> Unlucky Domino reduces the stun duration. Ah, right. Thank you. Well, I had nothing to lose that time. Still a big W overall for the night? Oh, yeah. I mean... I don't remember if there were any before this or not, but... It's like 6 and 4. But the wins all came at once, which is pretty nice. Alright, that puts me on pretty good pace. Oh, not that one. Yeah, so my alliance is probably like 190-something. Plenty of margin. I just need to be at like 150 by Wednesday, so I'm already over. Well, thank you very much to everyone who showed up tonight. It's been super fun. Um, making my way up through the, the victory track. Still got a few more brackets to go here. Uh, just 10 more wins, and then it's Gladiator Circuit time. Let's see if anyone else is live right now. Ooh. Looks like, uh... Safe Fozzy is live doing some Battlegrounds. That should be pretty fun. X is live also? Okay, well, there's a couple different places to go, it sounds like. I'm gonna head over to uh, Safe Fozzie's for a little while. If you guys would like to join me, please feel free. There's the link. Uh, and you can hit him with the Akbar raid. But, uh, huge thanks to everyone showing up tonight. Um, always love doing Battlegrounds, even when it doesn't go my way, but today was pretty good. I'll probably be live again in the next couple days, 
Probably not tomorrow, but maybe the day after. Hopefully I'll see you all then. Have a great night. See ya.